Gastric cancer is one of the most common and lethal cancers in the world, with Helicobacter pylori being the main risk factor. Although prevention through early diagnosis of precursor lesions could be the best strategy, correlation between endoscopy and histology is poor. We proposed a simplified narrowband imaging NBI classification reproducible and accurate for the diagnosis of gastric pre-neoplastic and neoplastic lesions. High-resolution NBI scopes were used with biopsy samples of all lesions and gastric regions. Two hundred and twenty-four videos were made and classified by nine observers with different NBI experience. Normal antramucosa with regular circular oval mucosa surrounding regular thick vessels in the center of the gland. In the transition area of corpus antrum and angulus, the patterns become thick vessels surrounding circular mucosa in the center. In the gastric body, regular circular mucosa is surrounded by regular thin vessels, not in the center of the gland, as in the antrum. Intestinal metaplasia is characterized by regular ridge, tubulovillus mucosa with regular vessels, sometimes side by side with normal mucosa. Slightly elevated tubular glands can sometimes be noticed. Alternated normal circular glands with tubular elevated glands. Light blue crest is highly specific for metaplasia and better seen when the scope is far from the mucosa. The small circular glands of the body, in contrast with foci of metaplasia, target biopsies to metaplasia areas. A smaller area of low-grade dysplasia with a discrete area of irregular glands and vessels. Another example of low-grade dysplasia. In these two cases, we see two flat lesions with high-grade dysplasia presenting a complete architectural loss of the mucosal and vascular pattern. Few lesions presented with white opaque substance. However, this was highly specific for high-grade dysplasia or intramucosal adenocarcinoma. More bizarre glands and vessels with depressed, undifferentiated areas are highly suggestive of more invasive lesions. H. pylori gastritis is suggested by a variable vascular density with areas of low, lighter areas and high, darker areas density. These areas of low or high vessel density may render the visualization of NBI features difficult, however they should not be confused with the irregularity seen in dysplasia. Even in areas of metaplasia, gastritis should be suspected with this pattern. This classification presented an accuracy of more than 90% for the diagnosis of metaplasia and dysplasia, weaker results for H. pylori gastritis. A learning curve may exist for this technique since the global accuracy increased from 70% in the non-experienced to 90% in the experienced observers.
It is not easy to see all the gastric mucosa with NBI. The observer should try to observe all the mucosa with white light high-resolution endoscopy and then switch to NBI observation of suspicious areas. With a click in the button, switch to NBI and ideally with a small magnification, proceed to the correct visualization of the lesion. Blood is the worst enemy of NBI. After biopsy, you should wash whatever items necessary in order to obtain clear visualization of the suspicious areas being biopsied. For better visualization, use the biopsy forceps to bring the mucosa close to the scope. When there are normal areas alternating with areas suspicious of metaplasia, use NBI to target metaplasia areas. This is even more important when you have small areas of pattern C suspicious of dysplasia. Use NBI to avoid missing an important diagnosis. In conclusion, NBI is accurate for the identification of gastric pre-neoplastic and neoplastic lesions and could be an important tool for their diagnosis.